There are many phrases, cliches, and sayings that annoy the hell out of me. The one that I have in my crosshairs today is, that joke wrote itself. It's annoying for two reasons. One, because it's a lie. Two, because it's not true. Yes. These are the bicycle rants. It's been my professional experience that jokes don't write themselves. People write jokes. Preferably funny people. If a comedian tells a joke and he tells you that the joke wrote itself, what he's saying is, he stole that joke. Yes, someone else wrote it. Does anybody accept this in other areas where it's obvious that some skill and craftsmanship went into a finished product? You're out looking for a home. What would you say if the realtor said, the great thing about this house is it built itself? In case you're wondering, jokes don't tell themselves either. They're generally told by someone who knows what the hell they're doing. It takes a person with a keen mind and a particular set of skills to construct a joke and tell that joke properly. There's an army of these practitioners roaming the earth and they're very, very skilled in joke writing and joke telling. We're called comedians. Average person doesn't know it, but writing a good joke ain't no joke. Heads up! There's some serious shit going on behind a good joke. Careful, it's like a street here. It's like that other saying. It came off the top of my head. Nothing good or worthwhile comes off the top of your head. Sorry to break the news to you, but the top of your head is not where cleverness resides. Pertinent thoughts are not just lounging around on top of your head until they're ready to dive off into relevance. Only insults and things that you'll have to apologize for later to come off the top of one's head. Road rage, the impulse of sleeping with somebody's wife, having sex with a prostitute without a condom, voting for Donald Trump. This shit comes off the top of your head. If you want something good, a solid bankable thought you can run with, you might have to dig down inside your head to pull out something worthwhile. And when you act on things that come off the top of your head, you always end up in a world of shit. Usually ends up with somebody going upside your head. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll tell you another phrase I'm tired of hearing. It's a no brainer, really. You don't have to think about it. Removing thought from the process. Wonder if anything will go wrong there. Could this phrase best be used to describe a person who uses this phrase? That didn't come off the top of my head. I thought about that. Wrote it down, then I said it. If that process confuses you, then perhaps you are the no-brainer. These are the bicycle rants.